If you're looking for a new spot to enjoy brunch, the spot to check out is the spot at Arcadia. So let's head out live to see what's on the new brunch menu for them. And Scott, uh, I have to uh, do a shameless plug is that I live in the area here and I love walking by and just seeing the new creation that you've made with this, this corner spot. Uh, and of course the new menu that's out, it's pretty delicious, but I love the patio, I love everything there. So let's talk about uh, the spot. How long have you guys actually been there? Uh, well, the spot at Arcadia has been open for about three months now, so we're very excited about it. I'm actually standing in our private dining room right here, which you may not have seen yet, Brad, so it's kind of new, this spot. Oh, yeah. You can rent this out and stuff for, like, Super Bowl and private events. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that looks really cool. Oh, my, man, how many does it sit in there? I mean, I, I could get a whole party in there. Uh, we seat 16, but we can host up to about 30 in here. Ooh, all right. And you, is it available for the Super Bowl right now? Is it available for the big game? Currently it is, currently it is, but you know supply and demand, we'll have to change it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, now let's step out into the rest of the area because let's remind people, people might remember this as, of course, the Tavern, uh, which was there uh, for a while, and now yeah. you guys take it over, and look how great that looks there. I know, the, the original Arcadia Tavern, we did a lot of things, moved the bar back and stuff like this. We tried to elevate it and create more of a coastal vibe in here. And now it's more of a party. You know, our brunch menu is just elevated and beautiful. Our food is amazing. The drinks, we have unbelievable shareables. We have uh, bottomless food and drinks that you can do in here, which we can talk about if you really had time, Brad. But, you know, for instance, you can get bottomless draft beers, um, buckets of beers. Basically, when you say bottomless, it's you purchase a price and you pay a penny for refills, right? Oh my it's not gosh. actually bottomless. Yeah, I like but, that. Uh, Right, isn't that crazy? We have mimosas, we have Bloody Marys. These are fun, margarita towers for people like Brad and me who <laughs> like to get after it, you know? Um, yeah, the, 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 our skinny cocoa mule, which you can get in a shareable as well. And this one is my favorite. It's the uh, red fish, blue fish. We have this in a blue version and a red version. It's an actual fish bowl, which oh I think is God. really fun and cool. Uh, all right, let's try to make it a party in here, Brad. Uh, yeah, you are. Let's talk about the food because now you just guys saw that there, and I'm like, oh, let's talk about this new brunch menu. What do you got on the menu? We have a ton of awesome things on the menu, but we just we brought four or five. Five, I can do math. We brought five things out here today. Um, this is our southwestern bowl. Beautiful, fresh, refreshing, healthy, right? Um, that's not something you'll see me eating for sure. <laughs> but uh, then the next up, we have our egg, classic eggs Benedict. We do offer a lobster Benedict as well, which is incredible. Um, our French toast uh, with berries does come some, with powdered sugar and syrup and butter and all the goods. Uh. And then a breakfast burrito, which is crazy over the top huge. You can actually kind of share that one if you wanted to. Uh. And then this is actually a single order of pancakes. That's how we got to make sure we fill you up before we load you up with uh. all those drinks and cocktails. You know, <laughs> got to get all those carbs in you. Oh my goodness! All right, this is uh, delicious. I know you have other uh, dishes too because you guys do you do lunch and dinner, right? We sure do. Yeah, we're open until 10 p.m. every day during the week. Currently, we open at three o'clock. Um, and happy hour from three to six, and then we do a reverse happy hour from eight to uh, close. And then on the weekends, we're open at 10 a.m. Oh. But um, we do enjoy um, our lunch. We're going to open um, February 15th, right after Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be great. You know, can we take a real, another peek outside on your patio really quick? Because I think this yeah, is one of the on, most man. awesome and comfortable patio. And you know what? I like it because it takes you away from, like, the traffic that's out there and stuff. You don't, you don't really, when you sit down there, you don't realize you're, you know, on a corner. Uh, enjoying your food it's awesome no it's beautiful out here it's a little might be a little loud with some traffic right now with the the airpods but it's very comfortable it's, we try to make it uh, as brunchy and just relaxing again that coastal vibe really we tried to make embrace like uh almost like california where the only thing we're missing out here is the beach but i do have in my opinion brad the best view of camelback mountain right over there <laughs> oh, it's just incredible it is and don't forget that you do also have live music here and there too I do. Live music and on the brunch scene, I do sometimes. We try to change up the vibe, make it a party in here. We do sometimes do a DJ. So try to make it fun, but it's not like an over-the-top loud DJ. We are we still try to make sure people can have conversations. It's not a <laughs> nightclub in here, but it is fun. Scott, I'll tell you, it's the spot at Arcadia. You got to check it out. And we thank you for letting us check out your new menu, the drinks and everything like that, which is really cool. So.
appreciate it, man. Love it. And if you want more information about the spot at our Thank you, Brad. All right, man. Uh, you could go over to aztv.com and check out that. But it's right there on the corner of Indian School uh, and uh, 47th Street. 48th Street, thank you. I hit the Street there. So.